Hello there. Um, this is just going to be me just sharing from my heart what God has put in my heart because so much is going on. Um, I'm hoping this to be just an encouraging truth share um, and I'm going to just going to cover whatever is in my heart um, by God's grace out of the over overflow of the heart the mouth speaks that's what scripture says so um, why is it hard to share on YouTube well darkness has fallen on the earth in many ways in these last days I don't need to tell you that and um, you know the scripture I've been sharing a lot on here and you know sometimes we need to take breaks and um, but you know one of the reasons it's difficult is because there are you know there are trolls there are people that um, just do not have evil good do not have good intent and um, they um, you know they they stalk people and they hurt people and they don't repent they don't take responsibility for their actions and um, this is very bad before God's eyes and you know this world is not our home this world is not a true Christian's home so we are lights in this dark world we are lights so we need to keep shining our light but it is difficult it is difficult so I just wanted to acknowledge that because other people need to hear that too um, we all struggle down here in different ways and we need to be humble we need to be humble blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven and God the Lord Jesus brings good things always he brings light and love and and purity and even his correction is good everything he does is good and we give him praise we, we exalt his name and we bring him praise amen so um, um I just wanted to say you know thank you for those that do remember others in prayer um, and those who did pray for me um, I took that video down for now I don't want everyone knowing my personal problems because some things are personal and um, so you know I do want people who are trustworthy to know my personal problems but not people who just come here trolling wishing doing all kinds of evil I mean there's just some wicked people these days and I pray they repent um, so I just wanted to encourage my brothers and sisters to keep fighting the good fight and you know another here's another reason why it is hard to share on YouTube it's it's very like spread and people do not maintain communication with it doesn't seem like they do with um, because everyone gets scattered in so many directions they can't maintain communication with a small group of people and everyone gets overwhelmed and then they don't have you know fellowship with just a small group of people because you can't have good fellowship with a ton of people that's just impossible so it gets overwhelming that's what I'm trying to say it gets overwhelming but at the same time people hide and they don't really because everyone's because the world is so wicked and people are so hurt you know then then that makes people not want to communicate with others and feet it's fear and we should not be led by fear perfect love drives out fear Satan wants to divide us and he's working very hard at it and we should not let him succeed and I've made other videos about this God is really upset about at the state of things things not just at the state of the world but the state of people that call them so-called Christians and it's he is upset the Holy Spirit is upset I'm um, not at his like true few true that's what they are the few true all this like Christian celebrity replacing you know on YouTube I'm Christian celebrity people just being celebrity really they, they're they're full of themselves 
It doesn't matter that they quote scripture. They're still full of themselves. It doesn't matter for many of them that they, that they say, I'm, this is not about me, when it still is about them, clearly. It's grievous to the Holy Spirit. And I don't say that word right, I know. Grievous. I don't know how you say it, but it's in the Bible. And I like that word. Um, this is just kind of a rant. Um, so yeah, God knows that his true people are hurting down here, that his true people are persecuted, that his true people are perplexed down here. He knows that. And that our blessed hope is waiting for him. And, you know, I, I am saddened by just how little real communication there is. And I know that we misunderstand each other, but we misunderstand each other because we don't communicate enough and we don't love enough. And love is the most important thing. And I'm going to read really briefly about love because that without charity, we're nothing. People here can be prophesying every single day. But without charity, we are nothing. Charity is not self-seeking. People here who are ce celebrity, <laughs> that is so not from Jesus. And um, God will humble everyone. God will humble everyone that is pursuing their own thing. Here's the thing why. A lot of people, God allows these new baby Christians to become celebrity. He allows them to do it. Okay, this is where I need to specify a little bit more. Um, so these people that become celebrity on YouTube doesn't mean that they're true baby Christians. Um, I mean, there's so much madness on YouTube. So they could just not be followers of Jesus at all because there's many fakes as well. So, um, and what I'm going to describe here on out is how they get, even baby Christians get tripped up by the enemy. So he, the enemy, the God of this world, he wants them to become celebrity. Here's why. Because in the Bible it says, a novice or new person should not be a leader. So, they can't be a true leader because they don't have enough wisdom and time to be a true leader. So Satan sets them up to get popular on purpose. Hear me. He sets them up to get popular on purpose so that they fall through pride. So, he makes their videos more visible. He puts their videos everywhere. Because he knows that they don't have the character to not fall. Because it's even in the Bible. I will put that verse in the description box. So be very careful who you're feeding. YouTube is controlling so many things. He does not let people who really preach the truth come up in search engines. He doesn't even let me receive half of my notifications. I don't, I, he wants to cut off communication from the true ones. There is persecution going on. There is censorship going on. Let's see if this video uploads. So you need to be aware of these things. I'm going to put the verses in the description box. Pray, do not let YouTube control what you're watching. Do not follow men. Follow the Holy Spirit. Love the least. Love one another. But you to love one another is more than just leaving random comments here and there. Hello, is that not? That should be obvious. Is that what it's turned into? My goodness, this world is turning into utter filth and I, there's no nice word for it. This Jesus is coming for his chosen few. Um, so these are just some things the Holy Spirit laid in my heart. And um, I hope it blesses someone. 
And if you want to have a real communication with me, you can email me because it, I'm just so sick of all this scatteredness and lack of real communication. And it's just, it's sickening. It is. I'm sorry to say it, but somebody speak the truth, people. People are afraid to have real relationships. What the heck is that? That's not the gospel. Yes, it is might seem scary and we can't trust everyone, of course, but this fake superficial stuff is not the gospel. Let it be said. Let the truth be said. Jesus Christ is Lord. He's coming back and all this nonsense will be shut down. I think Jesus himself is going to shut down YouTube. He's, he himself is going to do it. Uh, and the internet. Think about it. In the kingdom of God, None of this fake superficial stuff. Not, none of it. it. It's not, you know, it can be used as a tool. I understand that. But the devil is controlling it. And, and many people, we're, we're letting it. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting it. That's what the enemy doesn't like me. And the enemy doesn't like anyone who's truly for the truth and loves Jesus. Of course he doesn't, but... We, we have to put Jesus first and not be controlled by pop, what's popular. And we need to grow in wisdom. In, in Jesus' name, I hope this is helpful.